Good. The pod's still here. Get in, quick! We're running out of time. Wait. I'm scared. Don't worry. But... A Federation ship will recover our pods in no time. I'll see you at Remote Station 6. Now get going! Okay. You'll follow, right? Promise? Promise. at the uh, cockpit. Uh, this way, one of hurry. These things. There's still a pod here. Right. You'll wonder how uh, Sophia was actually able to pilot with the hurry. Because I'm sorry to say, but it looks a little too complicated for her. Yeah, look, look at that. Activation complete. Ejection in 10 seconds. Distress signal operational. Okay. Searching for life supporting planets. Planet found. Where? Vanguard 3, located approximately 0 0.5 light years from present location. Axial tilt of 35 degrees results in extreme seasonal weather. Existence of humanoid life forms confirmed. The Federation has classified Vanguard 3 as an underdeveloped planet. Civilization level approximately equivalent to 16th century Earth. Would you like to review the underdeveloped planet preservation pact? If this is your first playthrough, I'd uh, check it out. Yes. The Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact was established in order to protect planets with developing civilizations. Contact with civilizations that have not reached a certain level of development is strictly prohibited by Federation law. This is due to the fact that contact with advanced civilizations has a high probability of greatly influencing the course of history on a less developed planet. All individuals and organizations belonging to the Pan-Galactic Federation are required to adhere to the tenets of this pact, unless faced with a clear danger to life and limb. This pact is one of the most important components of Pan-Galactic Federation law. It also serves as a guideline for civilian conduct in emergency situations. Violators will be tried by the Pan-Galactic Council. How long till we get there? At our present speed of warp 6, arrival is estimated in 144 hours. Are there any foreseeable problems in getting to Vanguard 3? How's our energy reserves? No foreseeable problems. An adequate supply of energy and food is on board. Okay, I guess I'll get some sleep. Notify me if anything happens. Affirmative. Okay, now the game actually starts. Um, 
Entering Vanguard 3's gravitational field. Prepare for entry turbulence. Now it's more of a traditional uh, RPG type game where people uh, actually have stuff that we have to do in uh, places to explore and stuff. And uh, basically, there will be uh, less cutscenes. There still will be some, but uh, there will be uh, less of them from now on. So. <laughs> Here we go. So this is Vanguard 3. Since they haven't contacted me yet, I suppose it'll be a few days before they come rescue me. Wonder if Earth would be Soul 3. I better keep an eye out for danger. After all, this is an underdeveloped planet. Hmm? My quad scanner's picking something up. Moving at 40 clicks. Might be an animal. I hope it's not dangerous. 40 kilometers I should away. use my replicator to make myself a weapon, just in case. I don't think that it's uh, too I much of a threat. A good match for this planet's level of development. I don't want to get arrested for violating the UP3. Luckily, I've gotten used to this kind of weapon in the battle simulators. Not that I feel very lucky right now. I sure hope I don't end up having to use this thing. Yeah, that feels about right. The sun will be setting soon. I better find someplace safer to stay by nightfall. If there is any safe place on this planet. Huh? There's something there. I'll try expanding the range a bit. It's picking up humanoids. Based on this reading, I guess it's a village. If I start out now, I might be able to make it by nightfall. I'll go. I know it's a UP3 infringement, but this is an emergency. They'll probably cut me some slack if I keep a low profile. And here we go. Okay, now, the first thing that I should probably notice is, uh, the little map down here um if you get 100% of the map filled up um it will uh, basically give you um a little bunny statue um they're a 1 144th scale bunny or a 1 8th scale bunny or a 1 scale bunny or or whatever uh this will increase your uh, speed in battle and uh the enemies I uh, hear really aren't uh, that difficult to beat. That so, was easy. Um, you want to uh, try to end the battle um, when you're filling up uh, the gate on the far right. Um, you want to end it with a um, minor attack. Ooh, yes. Forgot about these guys. Okay, these guys, um, if you get it so that, uh, you don't kill them, but, uh, you basically just get them to cry, um, like that, um, and you leave them alone, um, they will give you something called a copper idol, and, um, basically if you, uh, go sell that, um, you will get 200 fold for it. Which uh, is a good way to uh, earn full here early in the game. Um, Real fight. Plus, um, How do you like that? Uh, just How do you getting like uh, that? one experience for beating him uh, 
really isn't worth it, so... Excuse me. So, um, you're basically going to 